Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 21 of Sky Capsule Project, a mod pack by the Mediocre Modders. So, in the last episode we finally started the endgame and more specifically, Mechanism. So we set all of that up and I prepared a little something here today. Today I want to start getting some of the base thing that we need to progress with Mechanism. So I want Heavy Water, I'd like to get brine, HDP pellets, and salt, if we have time. So I made this setup right here to get water, but there's a filter. If I look for a filter, there's an upgrade called a filter upgrade. And if, ooh, osmium. Yeah, let me just make one of these quickly. It's a good thing that I set all the recipe, hey? So let's grab this. Oh no, that's a speed upgrade. What is this? Oh, tin dust. Okay, I don't have a recipe for that though. So I know I said I would make recipe for everything, but in this case, like this is something we will only ever make one, I believe. So let's just grab one tin and throw it in there. Where's the crusher? Ultimate crusher. And we got it. And then if, no, we didn't get it. So now tin, if you grab the it's emc a bowl. I didn't need to make a recipe for that. Oh my... Dust. emc a bowl. Yeah, okay, so so there's the gold one was useless, but the other one were a good thing. So let's come back right here. And let's put a... So I already put some speed upgrade, some energy upgrade. So now I have a filter that separates every water from regular water. So now we can start this up. Uh, I'm going to try and just put a flux point. So I, I want to get to the mechanism batteries quickly, but for now, I'll just put a flux point to get this started ASAP. And we're starting to get heavy water. Wow, already a bucket? Okay, so this is going a lot faster than I thought. I think that this will be full by the time I'm ready with the next step. Okay, so let's let's go into it. Stop clicking the wrong thing. Perfect. So like I said, I want to get into... Uh, let's start with brine. So let's do... Uh, no, let's do the electro electrolytic separator first. So first off, did I make that recipe? Electrolytic separator? Yes. So let's make... Uh, I think I'm going to need two of these. And I'm missing iron dust. And you know what? Iron dust is probably something EMCable. So iron we're just going to grab one iron dust like oh sorry one iron crush it by the way these machine makes no sound because of the muffler upgrades so now if i come here and i say electrolytic separator i i want to because i know that i'm going to use one in the process of the hdp pellets so let's grab these two and we're going to need a couple of other machines so do did i make the row Terry, nope. So let's make some more recipes. I'm going to need a recipe for a rotary condensator. Yes, perfect, right there. And I already, oh, by the way, I already made all of these pattern for the highest level of gas tank, the highest level of, uh, of uh, ultimate fluid tank and all of the pipes and that mechanism has because for the new mechanism stuff, I'm gonna try and use the pipes. So rotary condensator, I'm going to need two of those because uh, that's not for the brine, but it's for other stuff that we're going to set up. Then the next thing that I'm going to want is a pressurized, a, a pressurized reaction chamber, PRC for short. From now on, I'm always going to say PRC, okay, because I don't like pronouncing that pressurized reaction chamber every time and it's... Something I forget quite often. So pressurized reaction chamber. Nope. I'm going to need uh, two of those. So one, two. What am I missing? Oh, I didn't make dynamic tanks. So now I'm going to need the recipe for dynamic tanks right here. And put it there. And you know what? Yeah, let's call those two. So pressurized reaction oh reaction is so much better so let's grab these two one and two 
Perfect. Then what else do we need? Uh, we're going to need a chemical crystallizer. So crystallize, oh, crystal, chemical crystallizer, double L, that's why. Ooh, I'm not sure that I have fluoride though. Okay, so let's check the fluoride status. Fluorite, fluorite. So I got two of these only. Do I not have a fluorite seed? Oh, Oof, yeah, I probably have a fluorite seed, but I probably forgot to make a space for it. I'm just trying to see if I can, oh, right here. Hey, great, perfect. So do I have a drawer that I can just push this into? Push it into, nope, uh, yes, right here. So I'll grab, no, I'll grab a stack. No, I don't need to grab a stack. I can just come here and say, fluorite, fluorite, oh my God, fluorite. Nope, not doing the right thing. Give me a second. Like I've said, we need fluorite. We're gonna make a recipe for it using the essence. And then I'm gonna throw this in here. And since this has nothing to do with mechanism, we're just going to throw it in any other place. Now, technically, I should be able to make my crystallizer or my chemical. I'm just going to need one of those. And oh, OK, so refined obsidian ingot. Well, we need to make a little detour. So we have two seeds that we're missing. And the two seeds that we're missing are the one for the refined obsidian, which I need this recipe. I don't know if that's going to work, though, will it? So where's my osmium compressor? Oh, ultimate, nope. Yes, ultimate compression factory. So if I come here and I do this and I say refined and I say give me 10 of those, will that work? Mm. Nope, it's not working. Why refined obsidian? Uh, Machine doesn't accept item. It's not accepting the refined obsidian dust. Okay, um, I'm gonna cancel this for now. And I'm just going to come right here and say, grab 64 of these and osmium. No, I don't need 64, what, what am I doing? 16 is going to be more than enough. Let's not just be wasteful to be wasteful. Let's come here and Oh yeah, like this. Perfect. And we're going to do the same thing with glowstone. So glowstone, glowstone, nope, flowstone, glowstone. Uh, I'm just going to also make the glowstone because we also have the refined uh, glowstone. We also need to make the refined glowstone seed. So now I'm gonna need some more osmium, another 16. It's equal recipe, it's one for one. So put that in, in and voila. So I'm going to be able to make those two seeds at the end of the episode. But for now, let's just pledge, uh, continue along. So I still need my chemical crystallizer. Can I make it this time? Yes, perfect. So chemical crystallizer. Uh, I'm going to need some ultimate chemical tanks and maybe some ultimate. Let me, let me just grab some ultimate mechanical pipe is for liquid ultimate universal cable is for power ultimate pressurized tube is for gas and some ultimate tank i don't know how many i'm going to need and we're going to take a small break to sleep i don't want to work in the dark and you know what i'm also going to prepare the brine so for the brine we're going to need a thermal evaporation tower so we're just going to come right here and say thermal evaporation so first we need a recipe for these cubes, then we need valves, then we need um, the controller, perfect, which I'm all going to insert in here. And then I'm going to say, let's craft some thermal evaporation. I'm going to say 128 of these, one of these, and nope, that one I want too. 
So a second valve and a controller. Wow, this is already. <laughs> okay, so let's grab all of this at the same time. Oh, I also need, okay. So the brine tank is composed of, the thermal evaporation tank is composed of these block, two valve, one for water in, one for brine out, and one thermal evaporation controller. To make it faster, you can use something called a solar neutron activator. Solar neutron activator, like this. And perfect. Oh, but I can't make it because I don't have HDPE sheets yet, which is why I wanted to get HDPE sheets. So I'm gonna come right here. So this is producing my heavy water and I'm going to use these block now and I'm going to make a thermal evaporation chamber. Do I have my wand right here? So five, I don't know if it works as a five by five. I Let's just try that quickly. I'm not sure it's going to work. I'm going to put a valve right here and a valve on the other side. I think this structure can be any size, but I'm not 100% sure. So now we're going to put this right here and see, no, it doesn't form the multi-block. So I think, let me just take a quick look on the interschmanet. Uh, where's my interschmanet? Right here, uh, thermal evaporation. Okay, so thermal evaporation setup multi-block is a it has to be a four by four. Okay, so I can't make it bigger than a four by four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Put the controller, ah, oh, this is, I don't like that things are off centers, but whatever. So this here, this here. And I think I need at least one other level. And for height, it can be as high as you want it. And voila, it did make the multi -mode. So if I do this, this is kind of just stupid now, but good. <laughs> okay, so we have a thermal evaporation plant. Now we're going to need some EMC link. Uh, just grab one of those, and I'm going to need a water bucket, water bucket. And I'm going to need some Upgrade. Ooh, I don't know that it's going to work. Let's try it, okay? So I'm going to go like this and water. And then ultimate mechanical pipe like this. Ooh, okay. So now I need to make something else that I completely forgot. We're gonna need an assembler, uh, a configurator. Configurator like this. And I'm gonna need an energy cell. Nope, energy this, what is it called? Energy tablet, oof, what a fancy name. And put that right there. And let's put that on my hotbar. It should recharge. And then you can shift right click to put this to extract, great. And we're getting water and the temperature is heating up and we already have brine. Oh, this is super great, perfect. So now let's do this and nope, that's not what I want. Shit. Oh my God, this thing is way too powerful. So I'm gonna put that right there and then I'm going to put an ultimate mechanical pipe right here and set that to extract and voila, we have brine. Please stop putting random things everywhere, man. Okay, so now we're producing brine, but this is not super fast because we don't have the uh, neutron something, something, something. So now we have not even a bucket of brine. Okay, so brine is done. So we have heavy water and OMG, that's almost full already. It's kind of stupid, but good, good. So this is started. Now I need a ele electrolytic separator. We're going to start making, um, hmm. I'm going to change this around. And we're going to set this up right here and where's the electrolytic separator right here we're gonna put that two away 
for the time being, I'm just going to put a flux point on it, just like I did with the other thing, because I want it to get power. The idea is once I have the ultimate battery, wherever I need power, I'll just put a battery behind it. Okay, so the electri electrolytic separator needs to receive water. So let's do this. And let's put some ultimate mechanical pipe. And that's why I want, I want to have these connect uh build both at the same time so once all of the water in here is going to be turned into brine once all of that water oh that's not going to happen anytime soon so let's just do this which is going to finish filling this and right here grab these two things and now i can do this to put water in and that's going to fill both things with water. Perfect. And it's going to be fast enough. I really don't need uh, a faster extraction mechanism. This is going to keep both of these things filled all the time. So this is now full and we're making oxygen and hydrogen. So now we're going to go right back here and we're going to make some, uh, put down some pressurized tube right here and right here and um, I'm going to go one further and one ultimate tank here and one ultimate tank here so now we're starting to get hydrogen and here we're starting to get oxygen and of course this is a machine that can be made a bit faster so let's just grab some uh, upgrades I'm gonna grab some oh I'm out okay so let's say speed upgrade I need another stack and uh, energy upgrade i need another stack i can go one stack of these and come on energy upgrades you know what let's do this quickly and then if we come back here our upgrades should be ready i might silence you know what i'm not going to silence completely those machines but i'm going to make them just a bit more quiet yeah, this is just a little less annoying. Uh, I don't want to make them completely silent because I'm not going to be here all that often. And I kind of like knowing that they're working. So muffling, speed. Where are my stupid energy upgrade? Did I make another? I think I made another stupid stack of fill... Finally, took multiple try, but I finally got the right thing. Put that in and voila. So now it's making these two things. We're filling gas, uh, oxygen, we're filling hydrogen. And these, by the way, they're auto out, but just, yeah, I prefer like this because then it makes it very clear that it's extracting. Oh, it even extracted faster. So I think it's better if we're pulling from the ultimate pressure pipe. Great, so we have oxygen, hydrogen, and brine being produced, all very slowly. So now that we have these three things produced, let's look, and I should have looked at the, showing you the recipe. The problem is if you look at brine and you do this, it shows you that you can get brine by uh, salt, chemical oxidizing salt, or uh, deconcentrating gaseous brine, Oh, not, not ECS brine, sorry. Uh, liquid flowing brine, but, and then you see thermal evaporation controller, but it doesn't tell you anything about how to do it. Like it's not telling you, oh, you need to make a tower and it's a four by four. Does it sit when I do this? Is acting as a master of the, only one of these should be placed on a multiplot via external. See, it's not saying that it's a four by four. Like how hard would it have been to say that the structure needs to be a four by four? Ugh, annoying a little bit okay so we need the hdp hdpe sheet to make the solar solar neutron activator and they're made from uh eight hde hdpe pellets or three in an enrichment chamber so we're going to use an enrichment chamber for sure but if you look at the hdpe pellets they only have two use to make HDPE sheet and HDPE rod. And if you look at the rod, they're used to make a pigment mixer that I have no interest in. 
or making plastic, but plastic has really no use other than just standard rods. So I don't need that at all. I only need the HDPE sheet. So how do we get HDPE uh, pellets? You need a PRC that receives oxygen and liquid ethylene, okay? And substrate, how do you get substrate? Well, you get substrate by biofuel and guess what? It's going to also produce our ethylene at the same time. But for the biofuel, we're gonna need seawater and hydrogen. Please tell me the hydrogen's on the left. Yes! Perfect. Let's go sleep. We're going to come right back and we're going to continue. And the reason I was happy is that I'm going to be able to reuse the setup that we have already. So that's really great. So if I come back here, we're going to have to set up a PRC uh, pressurized reaction chamber right here. And let's see if we can... Is this inputting? Yes, perfect. Now we need to put some water in. Is this inputting? Yes. Okay, so now we need just another little setup. I'm going to make another, um, what, what do we need? Oh yes, we need a crusher. So let's make a small crusher, whoa. Perfect, that we're going to put right here. And then we're going, let's upgrade it. So we're going to uh, upgrade, uh, no. Yeah, so speed upgrade, not speed upgrade again, energy upgrade and two muffler. And you know what? I'm also going to upgrade the machine right next to it. So let's do upgrade again. One, two, and half the muffler. Nope. Muffler. Perfect. So now I need a drawer. I just want a drawer so that I have a buffer for the bio. Like this. And then we can go. So in the crusher, we're going to just make it super simple. We're going to put wheat. So I'm going to need an EMC link like this, and I'm going to need a wheat. And the reason I want to use wheat is that wheat is EMCable. So that makes things so much easier. I'm going to go like this, wheat, and then we can go ultimate. Nope, I don't have item pipes. So now I need the mechanical one. Nope, mechanical are fluid. So uh, logistical, logistical pipes right here. This and like this, and we're going to configure this to extract and this to extract. And then we just need to make sure that it's configured properly. So this is going to be red and this one's going to be blue with auto eject on. And oh, it's going to need power. So you know what? Let's connect both of these machines with one point. Uh, what's the ultimate? Universal cable, perfect. So from the back. No, not from the back. From the bottom. Ooh, like this, let's go. Yes, ultimate universal cable. And we'll put the point right here so that I can see it and access it when I need to and if I need to. And then we can close that back. Perfect. So now we also need to upgrade this machine. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Basic, advanced, elite, ultimate, and then like this, and voila. And this is, oh, also we need to And we're going to make the back as the output with auto eject. Yes, perfect. So now we're making ethylene. Oh, okay. So this is one of the only thing that's annoying about this machine. This machine has one, two, three input and two output plus power. So although I detest this very much, 
this is one of the weird case where you need to have uh, an output. Uh, sorry, so I need the. They're both purple. So I'm going to need an output from the front, unfortunately. No, is that input? Wow, I can't do. Just give me a second. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, let's show this in here and let's get another drawer right here and let's get a is this gas ethylene or yeah i think it's gas so let's do a ultimate logistical and then a ultimate pressure so i'm going to do this right here Okay, I guess I'm. Oh, that's bizarre that it didn't want me let, want to let me connect. But I guess good because I wasn't getting the right thing. So let's do this and set to extract. And now we're going to need the gas tank on the other side. Um, ultimate pressurized. Nope. Ultimate logistical. Things are hard. Ultimate pressurized tube. And we're going to come right here just so that we're not directly on it. And we're going to ask for a gas, no, a tank, ultimate chemical tank. It's for gas, but it's called ultimate chemical tank. Yeah. Okay. And set that to extract and that should bring us, nope, it's not working. Is it liquid ethylene or is it, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't say if it's liquid, so let's... I don't know. So what's the problem? So now it's not working because the ethylene is not coming out. But it might just be that we're not outputting. So that's the purple from the back. Input, output. Oh, gases. From... So I didn't configure the right thing. So gas from the back and it is a gas and we're getting ethylene perfect so now we're back to production and i think this is max upgraded yeah this is max upgraded so we can't really go faster than that now that we have substrate we need to put another reaction chamber uh, pressurized reaction chamber i'm going to put it right here and we're going to need to in this reaction chamber, we're going to need to put some substrate, some oxygen, and some liquid ethylene. So now we have a problem. We're going to solve that problem really simply. We're going to go like this and break this. And we're going to bring this over. Nope, not even that far. Just right here, we're going to put a rotary condensator and now this needs to have like this machine oh i can configure the sides i didn't know that anyway i don't like the position so we're just going to change the side of it and go we need some power from here these cables are also similar so like this and we're going to put this Rotary, rotary concentrator like this. We need to extract from here. But okay, this tank, I'm going to need to set that it's the top is output. And now we're rotary. Oh, this is noisy. So need some upgrades. Again, upgrades. Uh, <coughs> two muffling upgrades. Full speed and full energy. Perfect. And that's going to now make liquid. So I need the fluid ones like this. And then an ultimate fluid tank. What? Why can I not put this tank down? This is so bizarre let's grab another ultimate fluid tank
Oh, the other one must be in bucket mode. How do I take it out of bucket mode? Yes. Okay, so that's why I can't put it down. I'll have to figure that out later. I don't remember how to do that, and I don't remember how I did that. So now we're going to go ultimate like this and like this. And now we're going to need the other one, the logistical, like this. Extract. And now we have substrate, we have this. Now we need the oxygen. This is going to be so freaking ugly. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. It's going to be, this was so well planned. Uh, I'm going to do the best that I can. So I'm going to go pressurize, pressurize. And I'm going to come right here. Okay, so this should be good. It's ugly, but it's going to work. So let's go back right here, put that right there. And like we did for the other one, we need to say that it's ejecting from the top. And if I come here, we now have liquid ethylene, oxygen, and substrate, and you're doing nothing? Oh, maybe it's because I hope the problem's only power. So let's grab some power cable. Nope, those are logistical, ultimate universal cable. And then we're going to go sleep because I don't want it to be dark. But before we do, ooh, ultimate. Grab this and grab this, perfect. And now we need just the upgrades. So upgrades, up, grades. So speed and this. Let's go this, this, and then, you know what? The crusher's really noisy. I'm gonna add one more. Okay, I'm going to shut that one completely because I don't like the crusher. So this is now making us HD, HDP pellet. Wow, this tool is so fast. So let's do this and then let's put the ultimate. Where's the cable? Oh my God. Logistical, mechanical, pressurized, Ther no, okay, I grabbed thermodynamic, that's why. I don't, thermodynamic is for heat, so now let me search for uh, ultimate again, and I need the power one. Ultimate universal cable, perfect. So like this, and then like this, and then I'm gonna need two drawers, drawers, one and two, and then I'm going to need an enrichment chamber. Rich, oh, enrichment chamber. Like this. So now we can put this right here and set this to auto output from the right. Aha, and then like this, we're going to put the enrichment chamber right here. Input, auto output, I just need to set it to auto eject. And then mechanical pipe is for fluid. We want logistical pipe right here. This, and now we are making very slowly, which means we need some upgrades. So tier, uh, not tier, so upgrades. We're going to grab two muffling upgrades, full energy, full power. And let's grab some tier from my stack. So one, two, three, four. This one goes first, then red. And voila, we're now making sheet like crazy. And finally, the last thing, then we're gonna go sleep. I need a external storage right here. And you know what, let's make it a network Let's put a network thing around here. Oh, where are my receivers? Receiver. So I'm gonna need one more of these. 
I'm probably going to need a lot more than just one, but for now, that's going to be good. Uh, cable. So, external storage. Priority 30. And this is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right here. Let's click it with the network card. And let's go sleep. Set up the system, and I think we're done. No, no, no. Okay, so now we're going to be able to make the solar neutron activator, and we're going to be able to make our uh, brine tower much better. So right here, no, 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 no. I only have one space left. Perfect. So now if I come here, solar, and I go craft, I should be able to make four of these. Yay, four. Great, let's grab those. And so the way it's going to work, that goes in all of the corners and I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, thermal evaporation blocks. So let's make two more thermal. Well, I don't really need, I could just take a layer off, but why take things off when you can just add more? So two, let's go back there and let's, make the brine that much faster so now if i look at this here it's going very slowly form 9 temperature 307 if i come up here i can do this 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 and this and then whoa so now it's no longer working because well it no longer has water because it's not well formed but once i add these properly not any which way this should become formed again and now the temperature should go up huh wait a minute did I make the wrong thing so what do I need to put at the top thermal evaporation plant is a multi-block used to production liquid from mechanism or processor blah 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 <coughs> It needs the top. Oh, advanced solar generator. Can I even make those? Darn it. I thought it was a solar neutron activator, but you know what? I think we're going to need them for something else. So let's just go back here and say advanced solar. Yeah. So maybe we're going to be able to make these. So like this, but they need solar generator. So like this, but they need solar panel. So like this. Oh. I think we're good and I think those are going to be really simple to make so now let's call for four advanced add advanced these one two three four start I thought for sure that it was solar neutron activator that's the proof of how long it's been since I've made brine like it's not something that you use often so I'm gonna need to break this 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 and this although that makes a lot more sense mm, okay so i don't know that it needs to be this way but i just want them connected the way that i would expect them to need to be like i said i'm pretty sure it doesn't need to but I like the idea of having like the, the power connected to it. Perfect, that looks better to me. And now let's come and check this. Oh, look at the temperature going up. So the temperatures is gonna go up and up and up. And the higher the product, look, it's saying the production is now 80 millibucket per tick. So I don't know how high this is going to be, uh, going to go, but this is looking well. So now, now that we have all of this, you know what, the solar, solar neutron activator, hopefully we're going to use later, but for now, let's do this. So now I'm going to need, this brine is liquid. So I'm going to need to bring this brine right here. Let me grab some fluid pipes. And set it up to extract. Perfect. 
And no, so you're not getting in here because it has a, uh, a side. So no, this is, I need to change it to rotary. So now it's decondensating. Oh, wow. That's, that's a mouthful. And now we're making, uh, from liquid brine, we're making gaseous brine. And then I'm going to put this machine right here. And I'm going to extract this directly to a tank. So uh, ultimate, let me grab a tank. I don't know if it works. Does it work automatically to a tank? Yes, it does. So now I can use a ultimate pressurized tube like this. Set this one to extract. And nope, it's not cut. Uh, just make sure, is it output from the left? Yeah, now it's working. And now the gaseous brine is going to make some salt. So this is going to need power though. So let's continue the power from under, like so, without breaking everything. Whereas the power un ultimate universal cable. Haha! -ha! And voila! And those are two more machines to upgrade and muffle a little bit. So let's come out of this. We're going to need some more upgrades. Split the muffling in two. And we need, nope. Energy, energy. Let's grab this one and let's make another stack of energy upgrade. And speed and speed. And you know what? Let's get rid of those two. I don't know why I have like an off quantity, but speed and speed, muffler and muffler. Great, so this should now be much faster. Well, is it? It doesn't seem, it seems very slow. And this is making salt, which I can now export to a drawer like so auto output from the left haha -ha. and we need another external uh, exporter so exporter uh, not exporter external storage uh, external storage right here and we're going to pop that on top and set that to priority 30 and we just need to connect this like this and we now have salt Whew, that was a lot of work we got a lot of things done today um do i have time for a little bit more yeah well just a little bit more so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the the new seats that we got um the, i think in fact the last two seats so let's come right here and say seed base i need one i need a second one can i craft a second one yes i have everything so two now i need the refined stuff so refined so i need four refined glowstone and four refined obsidian and what are what's what do i need to make these seeds i need blue and for the oh don't check the same one twice I need blue and blue. Okay, so let's just get in here and say uh, Supremium. No, it's Insanium. Yeah. So grab one and go all that to red, all that to blue. Let's go make those two seeds. Then we're going to do a little bit of bee breeding because we're going to have, we have the salt now to make the, the next that I was missing. If you remember, um, I had I needed to breathe some uh, bees, uh, some salt bees. I think I talked about it. I needed to breathe them, but I didn't have any salt yet. So this, 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 and now the four refined obsidian. We really don't need these at all because we have a good production. We like we could produce them with the osmium compressor, and for and I think we have no use for it. I'm just making them because I want the last two seeds. So if I come back here, it's going to be these last two right here. Oh, I'm just not sure of the order. So let me just go and check my list quickly. 
If I'm looking at my list, these should be going in tier four. I just need to know which one is before. So glowstone and then obsidian. So glowstone and then obsidian and voila. So we have all of the seeds achieved. You're going to say, well, there's two missing right here. Yeah. So these are the zinc, oh, zinc seed like this, which is made from zinc and zinc. I have no way to get whatsoever. Then the other one is brass, brass like this, which also brass is made from, I, there's not even a recipe to make the seeds. So one has a recipe with an item that we don't have and the other one doesn't even have a recipe. So now I'm gonna show this in here and you know what, let's put all of these things in here for now. Um, keep this and keep this and let's grab this. Perfect. And time for a little bit of bee breeding. So if you remember here, we had this, oh, that's niter. Niter. Oh, that's not low. Oh no, I, I need salt also. Yeah. Salt be right here. So I can put those two, but I want to see what's my niter situation. I only have two. So let's come back here. No, do I not have a niter seed? Let me check quickly. Um, so niter can be made from Okay, so only the bees. So please tell me that this got me more niter. Five. Six, seven. Oh my. No. Okay, so I'm still going to be stuck on that because I need, so I need to restart this, unfortunately. Go. Okay, so this is now, <sighs> hello. Okay, perfect. So this is restarted. The big noisy noise thingy is restarted, but we need it because we need seven niters. Darn it, what about sulfur? Sulfur, oh, sulfur does, and I have seven. So sulfur is essence, and I'm guessing, nope, I'm guessing it's made Okay, I don't know how it's made. So what does the sulfur essence craft? Sulfur essence craft, oh, real sulfur. Okay, so technically for the bees, I need, if I wanted the bees, I would need these nine sulfur. Um, okay, so let's just go and start the, the salt one though. So for the salt bees, uh, we need two other type of breeding. Uh, we're going to need the creeper bees, and the creeper bees are slimy with uh, skeleton skull. So, oh no, creeper skull. So, creeper skull, let me grab four. One, two, three, four. Now, I need to grab my slimy bees. No, no. Radioactive slimy bees, perfect. Now, we're going to go in here. Oh, this is going to be a problem I believe if I put these like this and slimy B requires the slime block so slime block uh, green slime block one two I'm gonna go one right here and one right here one slimy B there and one slimy B there and please Oh, so I don't know that this is a good setup for block transmutation because I need to make sure that the bees go over and it's night. So let's just go sleep because I don't know if bees when not sleeping are acting correctly. Okay, so let's come back right here. We're going to grab these two. So we're going to go, I need Osmium B with salt B. 
Osmium B and Salt B are going to make Lithium B. And then I need also Creeper with Salt to make Sulfur. So I'm, I'm going to need another Salt... Uh, nope, not another Niter B. Another Salt B. Right here. So another Salt B. I just need now a Sulfur... And yeah, it's not going over. What if I do this? 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 And this? <laughs> this is going to be super annoying if they're not transforming. So where's my other bee? This is a rubber bee. It's right here. Come on. Is it blocked? You think it's blocked? Yeah. So I cannot put this... Oh! Well, 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 well. If that's the case, I can do this. And grab this one. And where? Oh, it just didn't plant. Okay, so right here. And what's well, your problem, man? You know what? Let's do this. You can't go in here. You can't go in here. Uh, this and this and then I'm going to block the other exit also so you can't go is it in here nope is it in here nope perfect well that, that's a fail perfect so now I'm gonna say you can't go in here and you can't go in here okay so now hopefully they should go above and voila! God, this was much harder than it should have been. Okay, so I'm going to come back here. Now, hopefully, it's going to do the other one. Nope. Sorry. I almost made a big mistake. I need to detect the bee. So let me grab my bee-pedia. Do this. And this is a creeper bee, which I can grab. And now I can go and put in the breeding thing. So, like I said, creeper and salt, that's going to need some gunpowder. So, gun powder. You just need four. So, gunpowder. And since we're here, what else could I put in? I'm going to put uh, redstone and lava. Redstone, lava for flux, because we don't have a way of making flux yet. And ender and diamond to make enderium. So, ender diamond redstone lava so lava redstone so redstone and lava ender and diamond so ender and diamond no I'm just searching ender and diamonds hmm Terra Steel, Platinum, Diamantium, Ender, perfect, Ender, and I still need to find Diamond though. Where's the Diamond be? Uh, I'm not finding my Diamond B. It should be, yeah, right here, perfect, Ender and Diamond, so, Ender and Diamond. Redstone and lava. So lava, we need cobblestone. So cobblestone, one, two, three, four. Redstone. I don't know how much redstone. I think it's eight per, so I'm going to just grab more. And then we need uh, ender and diamond, so that's simple. One is diamond for sure. But what's the ender bee? So let's come right here and say ender bee. Ender bee needs what to breathe? It needs... Ender pearl dust. Okay, so I need a new recipe. I'll be right back. Ender pearl dust. Let's grab some 
Ender Pearl Dust, Ender Pearl Dust, which can be made in a pulverizer only. We don't have that machine yet. Uh, no, sorry, we don't have that machine set up yet. So what I'm going to do just for now is come back here, find a pulverizer, and those are machined in my next time lapse. I'm going to set up a pulverizer, a redstone furnace, an induction smelter so that I can automate these things if I need them, like in this case. So I'm just going to grab these four, come back right here, and put those right here, and then we're ready to breed the bee. And yes, I'm finally using it. Oh, I need more cobblestone. Wow. Let's come back right here. Cobblestone for here. Perfect. And the salt. What am I missing? Creeper needs more gunpowder. So gunpowder. Grab this and put the gunpowder. And boom. This is, thank God. Why did I not think of using this before? This is so amazing. Okay, so let's come back here and we have all of our new bee. A lithium bee, a sulfur bee. You know what? These bees I'm going to put during my time lapse. I'm going to put them down and I'm going to set them up because the lithium bee. So one of the reasons I really wanted the lithium bee is that the lithium bee produces lithium dust and lithium dust can be used to make liquid lithium and liquid lithium can... Wait liquid lithium i thought there was a i confused oh we're gonna need it for the batteries i just need lithium dust okay so i don't know that it's that useful but sulfur oh sulfur is the one that i really need so if i go here for sulfur although i have the sulfur seed but the sulfur dust is going to make sulfur dioxide so that's the next episode, uh, that's the next episode, like, kind of complicated stuff that we're going to make. Okay, so this episode's very long again, but there's still a couple of last things I want to do. So if I come back here, I'm going to get rid of... No, controller, come back. Con controller, perfect. Okay, the rest I'm going to put in my stuff right here the b right here for later okay so now i want to make uh three of the creative item if i come down here to creative i want to make the creative controller creative storage upgrade and creative energy cube so for the creative controller i need one two three four five six seven fourteen improved fourteen basic so if I come here to the processors, I, I prepared some. So you know what? Talk, grab everything that we have. Start. And how do I not have any neural processor? I'm kind of confused. I thought I had some. I thought I had pre-prepared some of each, but apparently not, or I used them in crafting something that I don't know. I should have everything new. No. So now the last thing that I need, if I come here, I also need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight final shard and four final star. So let's just search for final and let's go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come right here and let's search for the creative controller. Boom. So now what we're going to do, we're going to break this and we're going to put the creative controller. We now have one quest done, creative controller. Now we're going to make the creative storage upgrade. For that, we need a couple, again, 14, 14, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and some uh, emerald one. So for the emerald one, what I did, let's throw that all back in here. So upgrades. Let's grab 
one stack, one stack, one stack. And I, I made a lot of these and I do, I, like I made a recipe and then I just duplicated them. And now I'm gonna need some final. So I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. What's the next item? I know, oh, I'm, I need a 9001, 9001. Let's grab this. Perfect. And then we can go from the 9001, craft this item, and voila. So now, technically, this is one that I also... Can I put those in a drawer? I don't think that you can put storage upgrades now. See? Or maybe if I shift, or maybe if I go like this, and I say... No, okay. So these, if I want to dupe, and yes, I want to dupe them, I'm gonna have to put in a chest of some sort, I guess. Okay, so let's come right here. 9001, let's grab one 9001. Let's grab one pipe, one wrench, one pipe, uh, one upgrade. We're going to put this one right here. Uh, no, this is not a good place, sorry. I wanna put it somewhere that I have a drawer controller. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it here, which is a bizarre place, but this is going to be the easiest. I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna have one pipe, and then I'm going to have one chest. Chest, perfect. I'm not doing things properly right now. One chest like this, and I'm going to put this chest right here. Set this to extract, make it faster, and put this in. And this is going to fill up. So now I can put an external storage, external store, oh, external storage right here. And I'm going to set the priority and set a filter on it. Oh, okay. I want to store these here, priority 30, set. And then I can just connect these with a cable. So now I have near infinite, well, I have infinite. It's just as I pull them out. But the advantage of this is now if I come here, uh, nether star. So if I take this one out and I put this instead, like this one is stack limit 12,288 and this one is stack limit infinite. Yeah, so this is really, really, really much better. Uh, let's just throw these in my backpack and these in my system. And also this in my backpack. And is there, oh yes, the battery. I'm gonna make the battery and then I'm going to also make a dupe for the battery and we're going to be done. So for the battery, I prepared all the ultimate, uh, the energy cube and I all charged them, like I said, energy cube so now i need all of these oh wow okay so that's going to be a bit more complicated so how do i so it's basic it's red so red red i can't shift click them in because i need to put them in manually that was not what I was expecting. Okay, so now these, the ultimate goes, ugh, I don't know. You know what, let's do, can I do this, A? Yes, perfect. So now when I do this, the ultimate goes in a hash mark around the center. So this is the center. So uh, do I have any more ultimate? So these are basic. You know what, just give me a second. I'm gonna grab the final stuff first because it's gonna make everything else easier. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So click, 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 click. Let's put these in the corners. Like so. And then uh, these are going to be They're going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two away like this, like this, like this. Here, 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 
here and here. Perfect. So now I need some basic. Let me just come back here and grab some basic. Wait, where are my, oh, right here. And let's come right here, basic. And then these basic needs to go to the bottom right here. I'm gonna need one more basic. Oh, I'm gonna need another final star. And perfect, so now I need some, another final star, another basic, basic right here i'm going to need some elite uh is the elite one the one that i want yeah oh no not the well there's only three left so let's grab those it's the advanced yeah one two three four five six seven oh wow just barely okay so we can continue so now it's going to be elite a whole line of elite and then it's going to be elite uh now i need some ultimate ultimate okay so now it's going to be ultimate ultimate elite you know what let's just put these like that because i know they go there it's going to be so much easier than trying to figure out each one by one this final star goes here and this ultimate goes there this basic one goes there so i'm trying to make the hash mark The color is so hard to see, I had to lean over to try and be able to see it more properly. Okay, so now ultimate. And come on, elite. Oh, I've got all of the elite, perfect. So ultimate, ultimate, ultimate ultimate and ultimate oh am i missing one ultimate oh yes i know why i'm missing one oh ultimate my. because i put one right here to be able to do some manual charging but i can use that one now this this one is the most complicated craft of them all so like this and voila we now have the creative energy cube and we're going and do the same little kind of stupid setup that we did right here. I'm going to need a 9001. Like, oh, you know what? This one, I think, does go in a drawer. Does it? Oh, yes, it does. So now I can just put this right here and set these to do. And let's put a second stack there, not that it matters. And now we need to extract from here. Extract, extract, extract. Where's my wrench? Right. Oh, I've got four wrench. And I'm going to need one upgrade. And get rid of those three wrench. Upgrade, and then I'm going to go in my time lapse. That's going to be more than enough for an episode. Super long, but you have to admit that this is super exciting so now i have basically infinite power forever because whenever i need more power i can just grab a battery like this and i want power over here i just take the battery i plop it down right here and then that would power infinite forever so yeah that's it that's it for today's episode we're going to end right here and i'm going to go in taking care of the bees that I've created. It's gonna be a very short time lapse. And in the next episode, we're gonna continue down the mechanism deep hole. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.